problem. We need to sort this whole situation out. You know what I'm gonna do with my hair yet? I feel like it's gone greasy. I literally washed it two days ago. I don't wanna wash it because I'm getting my roots done because look. Oh, the glow up is coming. Stay tuned, the glow up is coming, but right now, this is just not okay. We're gonna be starting off with the Elemis Marine Cream. Now, this is like 80 pound, I think it is. And I'm not gonna lie, I wouldn't, like I'm not gonna rebuy it, do you know what I mean? Like, I don't think it's that magical to be spending 80 pounds on it. So yeah, once this is gone, I'm gonna try and find something new. So if anybody's got like any good, like intense moisturizer suggestions, please let me know. If it's gonna work, I don't mind spending the money on it, but when it's just me, like it does work, but it's not any better than anything I've used before. So for primer, I'm gonna be using the Olay Henriksen Banana Bright Face Primer. Even though I don't wear foundation, I do still like to put a primer on. I feel like it also gives like that extra layer of like moisture. So you don't look dry. Cause my skin is so dry, it's actually really annoying. So I'm gonna pop some of this on. But how are we all? I feel like we haven't had a sit down and a catch up like this for ages. So it's well overdue. An update in my life is I'm currently isolating for seven days, which is great, which is always fun. So my NHS app like flagged up and said, you have to self isolate for seven days because you've been in contact with someone that's had COVID. So here I am at home. <laughs> I'm not mad about it to be honest because I get a week off work. I get like the whole week to concentrate on like YouTube, TikTok, I was gonna say Instagram, but I can't go out and get Instagram pictures, so not Instagram. So if there's any like at home videos that you wanna see, please let me know because I've got all week to film them. It's currently Tuesday. This video is going up tonight, so I've left it a little bit last minute. It's not a good time for me to be in isolation because my concealer's nearly all gone <laughs> and I can't go out and get a new one. And delivery takes about five days anyway, so there's no point ordering a new one. So I'm literally like scraping whatever's left out of this. The only thing with this concealer, this is the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop concealer. But the only thing about it is it dries really fast. So if I do this and then do like the rest of my face where I want to put it, by the time I've dabbed this, this is dry and then won't move. So I have to do like one section at a time. I just love concealer. Look how dead and asleep I look this side. And this side I'm like awake. So I do actually have like a couple of exciting life updates to tell you about. I'm not really life updates. That's a bit of a dramatic word. First one is that I'm going to be a TikTok boohoo ambassador. Boohoo TikTok ambassador. Which way around would you say that? I don't know. So if you guys like love my hauls and stuff, if you follow me on TikTok, I would always do so many little mini hauls. And Boohoo are the ones that are like always doing so well. Like everybody loves my Boohoo hauls. So to be a Boohoo TikTok ambassador, it's actually crazy. I'm going to be doing loads of competitions. I'm going to get my own discount code, which is really sick. So stay tuned for that. This top I'm actually wearing right now is from Boohoo. I will link it down below in case you want to go and get it. It's just like a little abstract top and then it's high up at the back. I think it's really cute and it's really cheap as well. I feel like people who just know how to do like summer clothes. Everything on their website at the minute is so sick. I feel like my, most of my wardrobe is Boohoo at the minute. I'm just going in with the Primark foundation and contour stick in the shade Chai. Still haven't been able to find this anywhere. So I don't know if it's like discontinued or whatever, but I need a new one. I've had this for so long and I've still got like that much left. So it's gonna last me a long time, but I just need a new one just in case it runs out. And then I don't know what I'm gonna do. So Morphe have got a massive sale on, so I will leave their website link down below. They've got like a huge sale on. Most of their lip liners are two pound. Lip glosses are like five. They do foundation, they do literally everything. They've got a six sale. I got like six things yesterday for 21 pounds, so. This stuff is cheap as it is. When I went to see Shannon Nottingham, we went to Morphe and we really wanted this Madison Beer lip gloss. It's in the shade Mercury. It was sold out completely and it was 12 pound. I went on the Morphe website yesterday and it was five pounds. So I ordered it and I can't wait for it to come. But it's like the perfect nude lip gloss. I think most of the Madison Beer lip glosses are on sale as well. I'm sure the sale said seven days. And I got the email yesterday. So you've got like a week to get yourself some of But I just love Morphe lip liners. They're so affordable as is. They're like £4.50, but they're reduced to like £2. I think I picked up three lip liners and two... No. Three... I think I got three lip liners and three glasses, all for £21. What a little bark. My current like, lip combo is all Morphe, so I'll show you that when we get there. But I think the products that I use are on sale as well. So, yeah, a lot. I get a lot of questions about what my lip combo is. So if you want to get it, now's the time. Now that they're all on sale, I will link everything that I'm using in this video down below as well. Or if you can hear like the birds, the aeroplanes, the cars, everything. I've just shut the windows, hopefully it's a bit quieter, but everything's so loud today. So I was going to go in with some Laura Mercier powder. I've had, I've had problems with this powder. Not this specific, yeah, this specific part as well. So if you would have watched my going out vlog when it was like me, all the boys and girls, I actually lost my Laura Mercier powder that night because um, things just went a little bit hectic. So 
it yeah disappeared out of one of the girls bags Actually, a couple of days later i went out went to selfridges bought this one and then i went out with emily and her friends to tonight josephine's if you would have saw that vlog you would have saw that i literally opened it in that vlog and then <laughs> i lost it like half over the night it was gone i thought right I actually give up but like these powders are like 35 pound a pot they're not cheap so to have lost one that was still full and then bought another one lost that literally the same day that i bought it it was a little bit it did hurt my feelings i'm not gonna lie but then halfway through the night we went to the toilet and it was literally the lid was still on it it was on top of like the soap dispenser in the toilet just there like this and i was like that's mine <laughs> i don't think i've ever ran so fast in my life to go and get something but she's home Laura's home and I'm really happy about it because I didn't want to spend another £35 on another one of these powders. I think I was just going to leave it at that. Like I wasn't going to buy another one because I just think it's not meant to be. If I lose two, I actually give up. Moving on to bronzer. I've got like a love-hate relationship with this bronzer. Sometimes I love it and sometimes I just think, are you worth the hype? No. This is the MAC Give Me Sun. Like it is a popular bronzer. Everyone raves about it. So some days I do love it, but then some days I'm just like, I actually don't know if I like it or not. I love the colour of it, but I just think, is it worth the price tag? But see, today, I love it. <laughs> so I did ask for some questions on Instagram off you guys, so we'll get onto them in a sec. I actually can't wait to have my head, and I hate having roots. I know it doesn't look bad, like everyone says, oh, it looks nice with dark roots. I know it looks all right with dark roots, but you know when you just, you just can't beat fresh hair, so I'm so excited to get it done. I've got to take all my extensions out, and that is literally the longest process ever. If you've got tapes, you will feel the pain. Oh, by the way, if anyone doesn't know, I know I've just said I'm isolating for seven days, but Oak's mum is my hairdresser, and I live at Oak's house. So I'll get my hair done at home. So I'm not breaking any rules. I'm not going out. I'm getting my hair done at home. Also, speaking of hair, I've ordered myself some new clipping extensions. Like I know I've, <laughs> I've paid like £600 for tapes and I've bought clippings. But you know when you just want something like to look thicker? I love the length of these. These, well, they were 26 inches. They're probably about 24 now because I've had them cut a little bit. But they're just not that thick. Like when I want to go out, I want my hair to look phew, thick. So I've ordered some clipping extensions. I got them from Foxy Lock. So I'm not going to put them in, in this video because my hair needs washing. I want to save them for like my hair's freshly done. But actually, they're perfect colour match as well. I was a bit like mm, wary about ordering them because I've had some extensions before. And because my hair's silver, it's really hard to get like the exact shade of silver that it is. A lot of them just look like too dark grey. These Foxy Lock ones are actually perfect. Like they're the perfect shade. So I'm so excited to put them in. I'm going to go for some blush today as well. This is the Too Faced. Peach My Cheeks Peach Dream Blush. I actually bought this off my friend. It's probably out of date to be honest because I've had it for so long and I just haven't used it, but I'm just gonna use it now. <laughs> just like a peachy, pinky kind of colour, which is really cute. So the first one is from one of my best friends, Amy, and she said, say our plans for September on camera so it's spoken into existence. Girls, if you are watching this, we are going to Manchester for the weekend in September. That is it, it's, in, it's spoken into existence, now it has to happen. But it's really hard to plan stuff as a group of girls, but we just need to like, put our heads together and do it. I always think if the boys can pull together and book a literal trip on a plane abroad, we need to, <laughs> surely we can manage to book a trip to Manchester. So um, it's gonna happen girls. So I'm using the Refi brow gel. This is the best brow gel I've ever used. It needs about 14 pounds to buy, which I think is not bad. And it literally keeps your eyebrows stuck in place all day. I'm not really a soap brow gal. I don't know, I just feel like they don't sit right on my face and you can just see all the soap. The next one is, do you still work or is YouTube and Insta full time for you now? I freaking wish Instagram and YouTube was full time. <laughs> the money that I get isn't like guaranteed every single month, like the amount that I get, like it goes up and down each month. So it's not, I can't take the risk of leaving my full time job yet because some months I get like a decent amount of money and then some months you get less. So it's just a bit like, I can't risk quitting my job and then not having enough money to pay my bills do you know what i mean so once i'm on like a steady amount every single month that is when i'll well the plan is to go part-time at work first and then leave not just like full-time to nothing because obviously i don't want to take that risk hopefully one day it will be a full-time job like that would be literally a dream come true but hopefully i'm looking to move out next year may no complaints about house next year if possible so maybe next year it will go full-time but i mean we'll see We'll see. But the thing is, I'm finding it really hard to balance like working full time and putting out three good videos a week, which is why I haven't been uploading three times a week. Um, I've really been struggling with it, so I am grateful to have this week off work 
basically just get my shit together because <laughs> I need some more organisation in my life. So I've got a whole week now to like get ahead of myself, film some good videos. But the only thing is I can't go out and film any videos out, <laughs> which is a little bit annoying. But we can do some like chilled videos like today, which I don't mind. I was actually asked when are you coming to Manchester, so I'm planning to make two trips to Manchester. So the first one, me and Shannon booked Manchester for August. And then I want to go with like my best friends from here in September. Or we can go somewhere else, girls, whatever you want. But I feel like Manchester is a good place to go. I'll let you know when I go if it's any good. I have been to Manchester before, but I haven't been like out, out in Manchester. So it's going to be fun to go with Shannon and do all that. Um, so yeah, I'm going in August and then maybe in September as well. Someone's asked what my goals are for this year. And I had some like end of year goals, which was to hit 10k on YouTube, 10k on Insta. Smash both of those, which is crazy. So thank you so much if you are one of the people that are like following me or subscribe it's at i can't cope don't actually know what my goals are i'm just like taking it each day as it comes to be honest like whenever i hit like a milestone on youtube i always aim for like the next thousand but i don't give myself like a time frame on that so yeah i don't know i've been putting a lot more effort into my tiktoks as well recently which is something i never used to do i never used to be like a big tiktok fan i used to love watching it but i never really got into like filming and stuff for it but i've been like on it a lot recently on TikTok and it's been paying off. I'm actually kind of liking the no bottom lash mascara now. I was gonna do lashes. I've got these ones from Tatty Lashes, but I don't think I need them. This mascara is really good, by the way. It's the Too Faced Better Than Sex. Look at that. I'm gonna leave it like that, I think. So another question was, how to grow Instagram, TikTok and YouTube, any tips? It's gonna sound like so, not boring, but everyone says it consistency is key the more you post the more you get seen so i try and upload three youtube videos a week sometimes don't do that but don't don't pressure yourself too much if you can't do it you can't do it so i post once now on tiktok i post at 10 p.m i feel like that is a good time to post because a lot of people are on bed in bed on tiktok including myself at that time be yourself post content that you're happy with and be consistent so i'm going to use my morphe product now this is a bite me i don't know if this one's on sale um, but they do have a lot of similar ones. Even if this isn't on sale, it's only £4.50. So it's an alarm and it's with this. We overline that a bit like the tiniest little bit as you can see. Just so it's more sharp. But then I never overline these bits. And then I do colour in most of my lip with this. I basically colour in all of it except for like the middle section. I think someone's having some work done in their garden. So sorry if you can hear that really annoying noise. And then I go in with just a really light concealer. This is the L'Oreal Infallible in the shade Oatmeal. And then just dab it basically in the middle. I just use my finger. This looks a bit scary. <laughs> Trust the process. Use my finger to blend it all in. So it's kind of like the ombre kind of vibe. It looks a bit scary. Like it makes me look a bit dead right now. But the gloss is what saves it. This is another Morphe product. This is a lip gloss in the shade Sunny. It's like a gold shimmery kind of gloss. It's kind of sheer, so it just adds like a shimmer to your lips. I don't know how I used to wear matte lip gloss. My lips feel so dry without gloss on now. Someone asked, where is your favourite place to go on a night out? Birthdays coming up, and need some inspo. If you've got a tonight Josephine's near you, you need to go. They've opened one up in Birmingham recently. I've been twice, and it's honestly my favourite place I've ever been. It's such like a good girly vibe. There's no one in there to cause trouble. Everyone's just like on the same level. But I even took Oak there and he actually loved it. So if you want to take your boy from there, do that. Look and Lettuce is always a shout, but if you get if there's a Tonight Josephine near you, you need to go to Tonight Josephine. So I'm gonna go away and fix my hair because this is not okay. I think I'm gonna put it off. Or do I dry shampoo it? That is the question. My extensions are literally sticking out everywhere because I really need doing. I don't know what to do. Yeah, we're gonna put it off, I think, because it just needs a wash so i'm gonna put it up and then i'll be back the hair is off i've done like a split ponytail you can probably see all my extensions because like i said they need to come out but i am ready so this is the finished look it's just like a natural no foundation everyday kind of vibe which is just like what i go for every time even if i go out i don't put foundation on i just stick to something like this so i'm gonna go ahead and end this video here it was nice to have like a little chat and catch up with you guys all the products that i use will be linked down below in case you want to go and get any of it Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys very soon with a brand new one.